Hey everybody, welcome back. So we are going to continue learning how to use Illustrator. And we're going to kind of put some things together today. So let's go ahead and make a letter size image landscape. Let's hit create. Okay, and what I want to do with you today is create a um, bunch of logos, a little like brands. And uh, we're going to use these images I have made. And I'm going to show you how to do it from a drawing, from like some thumbnail sketches. So we're going to drag in this picture. And here it is with a bunch of little star designs that I did. And I just want to kind of show you how to apply what we've learned so far using shapes, using the pen tool, um, using Pathfinder, just kind of putting it all together, whatever kind of comes up in making some of these. I don't think we'll make all of them, but we'll make a few of these, okay? So let's go ahead and get to it. Now I just realized I made my I made my image uh, landscape and you know what? My drawing isn't landscape. So just to make it easy, let's go ahead and change it. And we're gonna do that by going to the artboard right here. Okay, so check out this artboard. This is a great tool. Artboard, I can easily just change. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see a little easier. Um, you can change the uh, orientation or the size or whatever you want about your image. It's great. I can even drag it and make my artboard whatever size I want. Just, you know, not even being precise. I can just make it huge if I needed to. But I wanna make it letter and I'm gonna go ahead and make it portrait style like that, okay? Go ahead and, and to get out of it, you just click another tool. Something about me wants to hit return, wants to do all sorts of things like that. And, uh, but you just have to click out of it. It's kind of always there. So I'm gonna go ahead and position my uh, drawing there. And let's go ahead and make it a template like we've done in the past. Go ahead and go down to my triple drop down and hit template, which is probably off your screen here. Let me drag this a little bigger. Let's make this a little smaller and maybe I can get it on the screen for you guys. The uh, There we go, template. All right, now it's knocked back the opacity and it's locked the layer. And so we're gonna need to make a new layer. So I'm gonna go to the triple drop down over here in layers, hit new layer. Layer two is fine for me. And let's go ahead and start. So let's just go ahead and see how we would attack this here. So I've got these thumbnail drawings and they're rough. There's nothing too precise about it, but um, let's just kind of look how, how, what would be the best way to approach this? Would it be to make triangles? Let's make this first one here, pretty easy. Would it be to make a bunch of different triangles or, th or a triangle and duplicate it and kind of line it up? That's one way. It seems a little hard and tedious. I think we can do it an easier way. I think we can just make a star and then cut out the shape, all right? So that's just, again, I'm going for ease here and for speed and for and for what looks best, actually. Actually, I'm more going for what looks best. And this, I think, will be more precise. Okay, so here's my star. And go ahead and make a star. I'm dragging it out. I'm gonna hold Shift so it aligns. And then I'm also gonna hold down Option on my Mac so I can get these point, because it looks like more of a pointy. Does it look pointy? Doesn't look, yeah. It's, yeah, it's more like a pointy star here. And uh, that's Alt, I believe, on the uh, PC, but Option on the Mac. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let go. And I've got a star to work with. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of make sure it's the right size. When I placed it, I just wanted to make sure I got the right kind of star. Now I'm gonna, you know, I, now do I need to make it the exact size? I can just kind of copy this right next to it. I don't even need to make it right on top of this or anything. So it doesn't necessarily need to be the right size, but I'm gonna make it a little smaller just because I know I'm gonna fit a few on here. So it's kind of close in size. But I got stuck in, in isolation mode. I don't need to be there. Just double click out of it. Okay. And I do not want a stroke. So let's go ahead and take off the stroke. But I do want a black fill. So let's go ahead and change that. Okay. So yeah, I don't necessarily need to trace this or anything. But uh, having it right next to it is going to help here. So now look, look at this shape here. If I notice, I've got a pentagon shape. I don't even think I realized that when I sketched it. I was just kind of thinking about doing these negative space kind of things uh, with the uh, points of the star. But that makes it kind of nice. I can go ahead and go to my polygon tool. And I'm not going to worry about size right now. I'm going to worry more about the shape. And I know I need another side here. And whoa, it's going a little too fast for me here. 
Whoop, I had it. So for some reason, sometimes my polygon tool, I don't know if you guys have this issue too, uh, or or the, even the points or anything, it goes really quickly. There we go, I got it. Um, sometimes when I press the arrow once, it goes a lot, uh, it does a lot of per, like a lot of increments at once. I'm not sure why. Um, if anybody knows, uh, please put it in the comments and uh, I'd love to figure that out. But sometimes it does it one at a time, which is great, nice and easy. I can just press it once and I get one increment. Sometimes I press it and I get a bunch of increments. So anyways, it takes a little bit of finagling sometimes, but there we go. I'm going to hold down shift. And again, I'm just going to create it. And I'm not, I'm not, I know it's not the right size yet, uh, but I'm going to make this one white. Okay, now let's go ahead and kind of place it on top, and, and I need to spin it around because it's a pentagon, but it's upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate it, and I'm going to hold shift so it does it in these increments. And there we go, like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and resize it with the black arrow, but once again, I need to hold down shift. Okay, I'm going to roughly get it in place here. And I can see my intersect lines, and I think that's going to be... Is that lined up well enough? Let me take off the background for a second and see. No, that looks off. There we go. That looks like it's intersected. Let me try and move it to the center there. That looks pretty even. All right, let's turn that back on. Okay, it looks a little big, my uh, Pentagon. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it again. And go ahead and try and align it again. Trying to find that center point. And I can line it up using the uh, align right here, the horizontal align. There it is. But my uh, vertical alignment's not going to work with this. I just know from trying in the past. Okay, so here we go. Let me just line it up, make sure these look even. Turn this off again. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. All right. Done, I think. Now, um, I can leave it like this if I want to edit it. Right, I, can, I can put it there. Let's put it like that. Okay. Now, let me uh, duplicate it here. I'm going to hold Shift there so it lines up. And so I would always, you know, if that's my logo, I would always leave this like this in case I need to adjust it, make this smaller, I don't have to start from scratch again. But if I'm turning it in, uh, I would go to the Pathfinder tool, and I would minus the front. And then I would have just the points. If I were, if, again, if this was for a company or for something to use, and if I click on the black arrow, they're all linked together. Um, if I, let me break down the layers here for you. So. Um, what it did with that here is it put it in a group. So now that they're grouped up, it just kind of it does it automatically when I have one shape and then I minus the front. It it sticks them all together in a group when, even when it chops it up. That way, when um, I select it, I can get them all at once and move it and they're kind of together. And I can still manipulate them individually if I go here, go to the white arrow, and then I could you know move things, take things out, but but it's in the group. But I don't want to do that. I want to leave it in the group. I just wanted to show you the group there, and I'll leave my layers open so I can see what's happening. And that's how I would be uh, finished, at least with the first draft of this thing. Okay, let's move on. Let's do... I'm just going to pick the interesting ones here, so I'm going to select this final one. Let's move it up. Let's move it out of the way. Put it over there. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm just looking for the ones that are most interesting. Okay, so look at this one here. So we got another star. So why start from scratch? I've already got my star here. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this star. Go ahead and take this over here. I'll just move it next to it. Is that going to work for me? Yeah, that'll work for me. And I want to get these little outlines there. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Could I make a star that's smaller? Let's try this. And I have not done this one before. So, you know, a little bit of trial and error, but Hopefully that's good to for you to see. To see kind of a little how the process might work here. Uh, 
Okay, now maybe I could have used a stroke for this. Maybe a white stroke would be the way to go. Yeah, I think, I'm not a white stroke, a black stroke and a white star. Okay, let's try this. Black stroke. Okay, let's try and get something that looks like the appropriate thickness. I think I'll do that. It looks a little thicker than my sketch, but that's okay. Now I need to kind of cover up these little corners here. So what kind of shape is going to cover that up nicely? I think maybe it, some sort of... You gotta go here, here. It's gonna be a pentagon again, I think. So why start again from scratch? Let's go ahead and just duplicate this pentagon. Let's see how that looks. Let's turn this off so we can see it. That's definitely the right idea. Okay, I'm gonna mess with it a little bit, make it a little smaller. Let's see how it looks now if I try and line it up those intersect lines here. Let me grab them both so I can see. Uh, if I grab them both, I can kind of see the corners here and see if it looks even. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's turn this off again. Definitely can see the negative space shape of the Pentagon in there. I might, I might want it a little bigger just so it's not quite as um, closed in. I don't know what the right word is. That looks even. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm okay with this. Okay. So let's see how we would make this a final version to turn into something. So let's go ahead and I'm going to drag this out. Go ahead and turn that off. Okay. Let's turn this one into our final. Whoops. <laughs> All right, move this to the side a little bit. There we go. And let's see what we do. So the first thing I think I would do is take off the fill. I do not need a fill. I just need the stroke for that star. Okay, now I've got this here. And okay, so we've got a new thing going on here that I need to do. So we have a stroke. And, well, let's just see what happens if I do it the wrong way. Go ahead and minus the front. And it's gonna chop, it's gonna chop the, um, lines but they're going to close off because it still got a, it still has a stroke so it's going to outline these little triangle shapes okay that's not what i want so i need to do something new so what i'm going to do is select the star and we're going to go to object and we're going to go to expand okay and what this is going to do is it's going to take the stroke and expand it into an object so it's not just a, a stroke that's going around a shape or a path it's going to become its own shape itself. So the fill, I don't need, I think the stroke will be fine like that. So let's go ahead and expand the stroke. There we go. Okay, now I've got, now if, let's look at it real quick so you can see what happened. Now that is the actual object. And I know there's a uh, pentagon in front of it, but well, let's turn that pentagon off so we can see what happened. So now these are each individual points and it's expanded it which is kind of cool, and now it's given us this option to cut out the shape we want to cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. I'm going to see what happens if I do this when it's not when they're when they're separated. They're separated right now in my layers, but I'm going to see if it still works. Yeah, it still works. Uh, usually I put them right on top of each other just to make sure my things objects are together. But now you can see that I minus that front pentagon. I've got these individual shapes there with a space cut out. And once again, if I look at it, it has created a group right there. There's my group, put them all together. All right, that guy looks done. So again, here's my work in progress one. And I always, always save my work in progress. Um, I usually make a new document, but again, I'm just doing a bunch of these. So I want to, I'll just put them off to the side and we'll just put these over here. All right, let's turn this back on. All right, and that'll do it for uh, that star. So let's uh, go ahead and stop this video and we'll continue doing some more on another one. See you next time.